Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited and nervous for this video. As you can tell by the title, I'm recreating Daphne from Bridgerton. I'm going to be doing my makeup, my hair, and I have a really exciting outfit that I'm praying is going to fit me. So as you can tell by the title, I've ordered something off Wish. I have never shopped off Wish, but this is what it looks like. I'm going to give you a little sneak preview. That's the dress. I'm so nervous, I feel like it's not going to fit me, but, ah, okay. So I pretty much think everyone was obsessed with Bridgerton. I smashed that out. I loved the show so much. It's based in 1830 and it's very much London high society. Daphne is one of eight siblings and they have to get like married off. So it's like a married market, which my family would love to do that with me, um, but that's not the case. So I just fell in love how the show was like scripted and I just love every little bit about it. It's so cool to like learn how that's what was happening at the time. Like that is just crazy. I also just really want an excuse to wear one of those dresses. Like it looks so cool and I need to find a duke so. But let's go make a coffee first because I'm starving for one. So don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it. It's going to be a day of glam and I'm so excited. annoying just on my brand new white jumper I hate being an adult okay, I've got my coffee that Finally is kind of cold and really gross actually. I made a better one yesterday mum. I don't know what's up with this almond milk today. I don't know. I was okay, rushed. What do I say to you? Don't rush. Anyway, I'm going to talk to you. Well, I'm going to show you the Bridgerton book. Look how cute that cover is. Mum's been currently reading this. Do you like it mum? Yeah, I do. I want to get the second. Yeah. I think she, it's different to the Netflix book. So, if, I mean, the series. So. A little bit, not much. But if you want to read the books i would recommend i think i'm gonna get the second one but look how cute this is it says the duke and i who daphne bridgerton and the duke of hastings what a sham courtship where london of course where else could we put off such a scandalous thing why they have each other their reasons neither of them which includes falling in love and it's really cute like the book like it's got some cool stuff at the back and i just think it's a good book to read in case you wanted to look at this um i'm sure you can find it in your local bookstore but i'm just so excited to get into this mum's gonna do my hair now that she's back from her coffee sorry i'm trying to read and talk to you that's really antisocial. but if you haven't watched the series make sure you watch it or read the books um or do both anyway let's get into my glam because i'm ready kate i'm ready but i was gonna wait to show you what it looked like on but i just want to see if it actually fits first so I'm gonna quickly show you what it looks like off me, off the model, and then we'll try and see if it fits me. Oh. I. Oh my god. It's so big. It's so big. First of all, it looked like it puffed out on the website. This ain't gonna puff out on me. Was I meant to get like a wire attached or something? Probably. Oh, okay, well, whatever. We're committing now. Oh my god. Imagine wearing this out to a club. Like hitting the town. Like, woo! The sleeves get me. Okay, it's zip, so that's good. I thought it was corset at the back. <sighs> to be honest, I didn't really look on the website. I was just like, I'm buying it. I'm gonna see if it fits me. Um, and then we'll get onto hair and makeup. And even if it doesn't fit me, I've already started making this video, so I'm not going to give up. Alright, see you soon. Bye. 
Okay, so I've just had a look at the hair and makeup. It's very curly hair, which I'm all about. Um, there's a video that I watched on YouTube. I'm going to link it down below. I forgot her name. I just watched it before. Um, but she did some really good hairstyles. I'm not going to try that because, one, I'm not good with hair, and two, I'm really impatient. For the makeup, I'm just going to do it pretty subtle. Um, I'm just going to cover up my red spots and just kind of like keep it pretty natural because that's what her makeup looks like in the series so um also if you haven't seen my transformation video of my gorgeous locks um i show you this hair miracle spray that i use i would recommend if you curl your hair and straighten your hair a lot i feel like it's really good and it um, prevents damage and like dry split ends so would recommend it is the miracle hair treatment by 11 so i'm just going to quickly do this now because who wants to watch me curl my hair for 20 minutes? No one. But let's get right into it. Let's cue that music. My hair all done. I don't know if I should like try to bobby pin some of the bits back. Like, so it's really short, my hair. But I'm actually going to keep it super curly because I feel like that was what the hairstyle was like. I'm not really going to brush it out a lot. Um, let's all get some makeup, though, because I want to get some sort of inspo. Um, I might screen record so you guys can see as well. I just want to kind of get, like, an idea. This is the video I was talking about where she does the hairstyle, so I'll link that down below. Oh, and she also does makeup too. Uh, maybe I should copy her makeup or should I just do my own? I want to say like 18, 13. Well, let's actually read about what they did for makeup. Hmm. Do I want to read this? I probably should. Okay. I'm really hot after straightening, I mean curling my hair. Makeup looks were very popular in cosmetics used by Western women in this period. We will also look at the beauty ideal regime, society, and how makeup was influenced around the world then. Hmm. Okay, I found some info. It says, the middle and upper classes wanted their daughters to look respectable. Fair. They were to be pleasingly natural and naturally pleasing. However, at no point was makeup abandoned by women in the Western world, it was simply appeared that way. The ideal beauty regime was smooth white complexion with a hint of rosy gold and red tinted lips. Um, society felt that this was the way it was achieved with, a, with personal qualities like cleanliness rather than using cosmetics. Of course, cosmetics did achieve some natural glow. Here's some pictures. Um, there's a young lady, um, a young lady's skin was her calling and card as much as the emphasis was placed on the complexion. Only smooth and milky skin was acceptable. There were loads of homemade and manufactured products for keeping skin clear and smooth. There were plenty of recipes for unwanted things like freckles, um, blemishes or wrinkles. Wow, this is kind of interesting to read about. It says here that foundation or face makeup came in the one basic color of white. It came as a loose powder or as a paper disc. Um, it could be purchased from the chemist as a sol as a solid cake where white pigments were mixed together with water, then shaped and dried. It was also applied on the face and neck. Um, they used it as concealer to dab into blemishes. White powder could be made from a variety of pigments. It says here that lip Pigments were used um, into fat or wax based. For example, bone marrow, cocoa butter, and wax bee lips. Um, and these could be purchased from the chemist. So here's some shades here. Um, I'm not going to continue reading just because there's heaps on here. But let's get into my makeup. So it's red and blushes, which we're mainly in. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And yeah, a little history lesson for you. I really want to like tidy up my eyebrows a bit. Because I feel like they're just, I need to, I don't know if I should get them done. They're a bit out of control lately.
Oh, that's better, hey. Okay, I'm going to use the Modern Renaissance palette just because I feel like it's so dirty, I know, but it has like really subtle shades. I'm going to use Tempera because um, it's like a really nice light color and I feel like they didn't wear a lot of makeup. Like they were kind of really subtle. Ooh. Okay, now I'm going to go in with these two shades that have obviously been used to death and I'm just going to use this brush that I've used daily and I'm just going to put it on my brow bone. Sort of like my 1950s makeup look that I did. What video was that? That was like sort of recent. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. I've just lightly put some brown underneath my eyes. I'm just going to put a bit of mascara on and that's pretty much it. I think for the eyes, I'm just going to move this. Sorry, it's, sorry, that was at such a poor angle before. It's very simple and subtle because she literally looks like she's not even wearing any makeup. I use Banging Body. This is called the Illuminating Firming Lotion and I am obsessed with it. I only use about like that much because you really... She glows. So you really don't need a lot. But I can't help myself, so. Looks really good when you're not wearing like a lot of makeup too, I find. Like if you've got a light layer of foundation on it, really shows through, which is nice. Feels so good. I'm actually obsessed with this. I really highly recommend it. And it just is like a really nice moisturizer on your skin. I'm almost out of the ordinary foundation. This is seriously the best if you have pink undertones like me. I only use one pump, just like that much, and then I kind of dab it around. Um, and it's so nice for every day. I really, really, really recommend. Oh, I forgot to mention too, I did put on sunscreen and I did moisturize beforehand. I spoolie brush and just kind of like blend it onto my neck a bit more because I find sometimes if I have tan left over and I'm like that in-between shade, I don't want it to look like I have a line. Just a light little glow, if you know what I mean. That's enough. Best bronzer, Morphe. Use it every day. Highly recommend. It's 30 bucks, so that's a win. This is the blush I'm going to use. It's the NARS one. It's liquid. I'm going to go ham on this blush. Wow, I'm quite blush, some would say. That's pretty. I don't know if I like my hair. You know what? It'll look fine when I have the dress on. Tiny bit of highlighter. I'm using the NARS Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I'm going to maybe use this pinky shade here. It is called Moonstone. Wow, I went really ham with the blush. Didn't I? Should I calm it down a bit? I should probably... I, I'm just going to put a bit of concealer on because I've... I feel like I put a bit too much on. Has anyone seen my Doja Cat video where I did her, I followed her skincare and cup routine? Cause that was hectic. Okay, I feel like that's a bit better. The MAC primer, it's in the gold. Oh, I love their sprays. I'm gonna just be using my go-to Honey Love. Okay, I'm just gonna put some lip gloss on now. The sun's like disappeared, which is kind of rude because it was out before. Okay guys, we have the outfit on all complete. I am obsessed with it. I just need mom to come home to zip up the back because ugh, my arm can't do it up. But here she is. I am so happy with this. I'm surprised it fits because I kind of freaked out. I thought I bought like a plus size dress, but I didn't. And it's got, it is so pretty, the detail. The sleeves actually don't look so bad on. It's got really nice detail here. It's so not something I would ever obviously wear, but it's just so fun to play dress ups for the day. Like I've had the best Thursday I've ever had in a while, so. So overall, I think I did a pretty good job. And round of applause. A wish for not giving me a really dodgy dress and allowing me to make this a really fun video. And we're gonna go outside and take some photos and stuff in our pretty little garden. I just need my Duke and 
I mean, I'm good to go. So, woo! I've also added these earrings from Lavisa and this pearl necklace is from Sheen just to, you know, elevate my look a bit more, make me look all bougie. I'm going to try to get photos with my hair on like one side because I feel like she wore her hair mainly like that in the series, but I'm so obsessed with it. I actually love it and I love the sleeves. I love how much detail it has. Um, so I'll give you some more close-ups in a minute when I'm outside so you can see what it looks like as well in natural lighting. So I'm just going to take some photos I think in front of the fountain because I feel like that's a nice pretty spot or there's some spots over there. I'm just going to use my phone because for some reason I still don't know how to use the self timer on my camera which is really annoying because the quality is really good but I have an iPhone 12 so I think they should be pretty similar once I put a nice edit over it but I'm really happy with the dress. Um, as you guys saw before but I think it really suits outside and it's all tying together very nicely in my opinion um, so I'm just going to get some photos now and I will insert them okay guys that is it for today's video I am so impressed so if you're looking for a Bridgerton costume or a very fancy bougie costume try this one I'll have it linked down below for you okay comment down below which photo is your favorite or location wise I had so much fun doing this video today I had fun doing the hair the makeup but honestly I'm very excited to get this all off me and just sit in my pajamas and edit this video if you haven't watched Bridgerton make sure you do because I think season two is coming out soon um, but I'm probably just gonna rewatch it again because honestly it was amazing 10 out of 10 show stopping phenomenal so thank you so much for watching don't forget to like this video and I'll see you guys soon bye